All right, here's the first step. You need three screws of zero two by five, which is right here. You need two screws of the M two by five, which is right here. You need the lower bearing block with its bearing. <clears throat> You're gonna choose which one of these you wanna have as your top and your bottom. I'm gonna choose this one as my top. It gets a bearing in this aluminum cover. The bottom gets its bearing, this extra piece right here, which we'll find out what this is for later on in the build, and it has a bearing also. These bearings actually feel like they're, uh, they're pre-packed, um, so I don't think there's a need to, uh, I don't think there's gonna be a need to, to oil these. So yeah, here we go, page one complete. You have your top with the um, with the zero by two five screws, three of them, securing that bearing in place. Nothing securing this bearing in place. Uh, this is a support of some sort. Uh, I won't know until we get until I get to that point. Um, there is a groove that is right here. All right, that needs to be facing the back. Um, this is your lower support. And that basically completes page one. We're also gonna be working with this piece. This piece is inside the mainframes bag. Uh, we're also going to be work going into page three, which is then going to be attaching that stuff to the left side, the left airframe, all right? The piece with that's missing the bar that goes across here. This is this is the left one. The right one has this bar right here. The left one does not. Keep in mind that with the way it's laying down on the table right now, this is the outside of the frame, so we'll be attaching to the inside of the frame. Um, yeah, so I'll go ahead and start getting these pieces assembled. I'll, I'll shoot some pictures along the way, um, and then I'll, I'll finish up with another video. My... The front is up on this. It, this is the front of the heli. This is the back. Um, servo uh, channel two. So you got one, two, and six. Uh, this is the top of the bearing block. Flip it over. That's the bottom. All right. Now we're going to move on to step or page three, which is attaching. Your upper, your upper block and your lower block to the frames. Uh, you will be using the zero two by eight screws. Right, here they are. And there's a lot of screws in here, so you'll be using a lot of these. Um, and then the two by eight will also be securing these. All right, now before I forget, um, you have four screws that hold on that. That panel, those are zero two by fives. Uh, so you got four of those. And then your servos are held into place with the zero two by eights. And if you notice that on the front two cyclic servos, you have this carbon fiber piece that sticks out. I think that has something to do with the canopy, making sure the canopy stays out. Uh, take note of the bevel and that the bevel is pointing towards the rear of the helicopter and it's at the top. Same thing on the other side. All right, got all the pieces attached, as you can see. I also went ahead and just put the ball links on for right now so I don't lose them. Uh, set one, you can see the orientation that they need to be in. Um, so I'm gonna end up combining these next few steps together but I wanted to show you something real quick in the directions. 
If you look right here, this is the, the bag number reference right here. So that number that's on the bag, that's what you're gonna be looking for. It's not the page number. So um, I just wanted to update you on that. So uh, we are moving on to page four, which is your battery. This is the part of the battery tray that actually attaches inside the helicopter. This is what your battery attaches to. This is a frame. This is the tray that your ESC is going to sit on. And then this is the lower frame. This is this is going to be on page five. These these three pieces are going to be on page four. So I'm going to go ahead and combine these two steps and get all that stuff attached. All right. Like I said, I did pages four and five. Um, page four. You add your bat, uh, the ESC tray, and you add your battery tray, which is right here. And then on page five, you look in here, you add your lower frame piece. All right. What it takes to secure this, you have five zero two by fives holding in one, two, three, four, and there's one back here, five. All right, then you have three of the zero two by eights. One, two, and then three. Do not put it in this last hole, okay? Do not put it in this last hole. This last hole is for your boom supports, all right? Um, just some notice here, I'll let you get a better look at that. Back here, this hole right here is for your boom support, all right? If you look at, um, so far, it's going pretty smooth. Uh, no issues. Has minor alignment adjustment uh, right here with this screw. Uh, so I loosened up this servo top and bottom, this servo top, and I just got the the bearing block to line up with with the hole, and I finally got it. And I left all the four securing screws for the main block um, loose also until I got all the screws in. Uh, so then I just went back in, retightened everything. Uh, so far, no Loctite. Uh, you'll be using it on your servo linkages for sure. Um, but so far, there's been zero Loctite. All right. So next, we're going to move on to uh, page six. And page six is going to be nothing more than just mounting the, uh, the right side of the frame. And then page seven, we'll be mounting the skids. I think page eight will be a good stopping point. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the right right side frame. Uh, just make sure you pay attention to your zero two by eight screws and your zero two by five screws. Um, and then that should be about it. All right, here we go. Got the landing gear on. Left side. Tray. The left side or the right side. Uh, just to recap, uh, this screw, this screw, this screw, this one, and this one. So these three and these two are the zero two by fives. All the rest of the screws on here are the zero two by eights to include the, the landing gear. All right. So you'll have nine of the zero two by eights and five of the zero two by fives fastening all of this. All right. Uh, next is to move on to the, to the tail box. All right, here we go. Tail box. All right. You got five of these inserts. There's five holes. You got three across the top and two at the bottom. This is the front. This is towards the back. Uh, you slide the two pieces together. We're gonna slide them into the frames and then we're gonna secure them with um, eight of the zero two by eights. And then we have one of M two by 12. Um, I'll point that out in the recap when I come back on, all right? All right, there's a hole right here. 
that goes through the uh, tailbox, do not put a screw in there. Uh, you go one, two, three, four. And those are the zero two by eights on the right side. Leave, leave these four screws loose for later on. On this side, we have one, two, three, four of the zero two by eights. And this is the M two by 12, one piece. Do not screw this one in out, all the way either. Uh, this is what's actually gonna secure into the boom to keep it from twisting. And again, there should be a hole right here that you're not gonna be putting a screw in just yet. All right, you'll be doing that a little bit later. Um, just wanted to point that out. Modification I may be making is I may be taking one of my files and I may be opening up this hole a little bit. Uh, I don't like how tight that is for that cable. I want uh, the servo lead to go through there. So I'm thinking about taking one of my files and making and just opening that up a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's, that's where we're at so far. I think we're at a decent stopping point for the night. Um, yeah, so far it's going smooth. Uh, zero Loctite at this point, except for the ball links, which I haven't secured those yet. So really I haven't used any any thread lock yet. It's it's uh, metal screws and the pretty solid plastic. Uh, the plastic on this thing is pretty hard. Um, doesn't seem to twist or bend. Uh, that could be good and bad. Um, but uh, well, you see that. There's the tail box. Throw that over. And again. Um, yeah, it's coming together. See you on the next series.